It's time for baseball on MLB Network. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Chicago White Sox and the Texas Rangers. So striding forward now, Leori Garcia. He will lead this one off today. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now. And it's fouled away. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The mercury still rising here at the ballpark. 93 degrees, our game time temperature. Spoils another one. And this is exactly what you're looking for out of your leadoff hitter. Really good at bat here from the leadoff hitter as he'll force him to throw another one. He'll try it again, three and two. And that misses ball four. So a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. Up next for Chicago, Yohan Moncada. He's set. Here's the three and two. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Standing in now, Tim Anderson. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Chu has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. And now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Eloy Jimenez. He also had three hits in the win last night. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their at bats in this one. They're not making a swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance, and it's gone. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. So now to the plate, Edwin Encarnacion looks at a fastball low here and it's full three and two now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it back to back jacks at the plate now Jose Abreu grounded back up the middle Andrus fields it cleanly in time to first, and there are two away. In now, Nomar Mazzara. He's carrying a batting average of just over 300, so clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Now the 2 1 pitch. In the air to center field and deep back is the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. In now, Yosmani Grandal. Slow roller down the third baseline. Again, another foul ball. Two out, nobody on. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Ready now for the White Sox, Danny Mendick. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Gallo is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning.
standing in Elvis Andrews. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes now to Andrews. And this is popped high in the air back behind short. Anderson over to his right, one away. Up next for the Rangers, Matt Duffy, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1-1 one -one home. It's a fastball that misses. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Mendick ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So next to the plate for Texas, Willie Calhoun. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Ready now, Leori Garcia. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. The third baseman, Juan Montano. The two and one on its way. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Center fielder looking up at the track, the wall, and it's gone as they add still another. Colby Allard is going to come on in relief now, and he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. Stepping in now, Tim Anderson. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two is laid off for ball two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Andres onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Digging in, Emo Jimenez. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall and the side is retired. Here's Joey Gallo now. Head to head with Ronaldo Lopez. He's hitless in six tries. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. And it's up to a three two full count now. Danny Santana waits on deck. Popped him up. Grandal is there. One away. Standing in, Danny Santana and he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. A quick glove at third and there were two gone. The right field. Shin two two. The 1-1 one, one home. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Reined in. 
And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway. And next, the dangerous power threat, Edwin Encarnacion. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone to lead off the inning. At the plate, Jose Abreu. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Hey, and in that last at bat, he took this one to straightaway center field, the deepest part of the ballpark. So this guy can hit a breaking ball a long way. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now batting, the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Standing in now, Yasmani Grandal. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Now another 1 2. Abreu on second, Mazzara on at first with nobody out. And he struck him out. Digging in to try it again. Danny now Mendick. Back. 0 for 1 the here in the team. early going. Danny Mendick. Still even at 2 and 2. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Hit out towards second. Andrus. On to Guzman. They get them both. And that retires the side. So digging in now, Ronald Guzman. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. The 1-1 home. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Fouled off. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. There to make the catch is Jimenez, and there's one away. Into the box now, Robinson Chirinos. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. The 1-1. One -one. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Here's Rognit Odor now. His solo shot accounted for their only score of the ball game a night ago. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back-to-back -back walks here with one away. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. 3-2 pitch. 
And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Mendick backs up and takes care of it. Two away. So two are gone here in the well, Rangers third. And that means the well, corner infielder ready. Matt Duffy Matt. will bet next. Yeah. And it's one and two. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ballgame. Two balls and two strikes to Duffy. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Here now the 2-2. Hit hard and caught down there at third. Almost big trouble there, but he'll wind up stranding two as the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Leori Garcia. Now the payoff pitch home. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Now about it. Ready for another chance. Yoan Moncada. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Boy, this guy right here in that last A.B. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb. And as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out the center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Ready once again, Tim Anderson. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the DH, Willie Calhoun. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Here's another one, too. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Another one sent foul. The one two and he chased it in the dirt. Grandall has it and the throw is there to record the first down. Now Settling back. in now Joey Gallo over one after a pop out in foul Gallo. territory his first time through. Yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down dropped his back shoulder and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Stepping into the box, Danny Santana. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Ground ball right into the shift. Fielded cleanly. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but now hangs that. on for the, the first, first out. Edwin. So one gone Edwin. in the Edwin. inning for Edwin Encarnacion. 1-1. One, one. Hard liner to center field. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Now batting. To, hit to the plate now, Jose Abreu. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. From the belt, the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. The count is full, three and two to the White Sox DH. 
We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Andrus, relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. At the plate, Nomar Mazzara, already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hit out towards second, fielded by Hador. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and coming forward the veteran outfielder, Shin Su Chu. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Moncada's there for it, and there's one gone. Now batting. At the plate, the Ronald base Guzman base. hit it Bravo. hard but lined out in his first Bravo. at bat. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game, Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball onto the shortstop, but thrown away. The bat, the catcher, Robin Jones. Into the box now, Robinson Chirinos. One and two to the Rangers catcher. Nope. That misses, and we're even at two and two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Jimenez is in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So here's the left-handed bat of Ruth Middledor. Runner in scoring position with two guns. No runs, just one hit. And no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Misses, ball two. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Coming to the plate now, Yasmani Grandal. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Nope. Those punch oh, outs will stick with you a little longer. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff the hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now the 2-1. Liner towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now back to the top now of the lineup, stepping in, Leori Garcia. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Hit back up the middle. The second for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now and stepping in is the veteran shortstop Elvis Andrews. This one doesn't look good so far down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. This is flared out towards second. And the throw forces him to lay out for that one but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. Now in the box, Matt Duffy. He has flied and lined out in two trips in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. One out, nobody on. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Jimenez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. 
Striding okay. forward now is the DH, Willie Calhoun. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Jesse Chavez enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Yohan Moncada will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. 1-1. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now with the play, Tim Anderson. Number seven, shortstop, Tim Anderson. The 1-2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Eloy Jimenez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Last half of the seventh here and next it'll be the outfielder Joey Gallo starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally fouled away trying to send him packing for the second time swung on and missed really fooled him that time for the first out stepping in Danny Santana 0 for 2 on his line thus far into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Hit in the air down the left field line. Jimenez is in pursuit, and no one will track it down. Now the three and two pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The right field. So stepping Hit in, Shin Su Chu. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. That's lifted the other way out to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Dylan Cease takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. In now, Ronald Guzman. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Two men are on with two men out. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Bases are loaded here, two down. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. A full count for Odor. Three balls and two strikes. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded.
all set for the start of the inning and that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. And it's fouled away. The one two. Two ball two strikes. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So now to the plate, Jose Abreu. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. All right, Rangers. Uh. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. The next three, two. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. hit in the air down the right field line but this will wind up being a foul ball you know taking you inside the mind of a batter right here you can't get an auto swing mode you still have to control the strike zone heading out towards shallow right Chu has a read on it looks it into his glove and there's one gone now at the plate Nomar Mazzara he was retired via the ground ball last time up Runner at first here, one man out. Can't find his own there, and it's three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now bad. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. It was a walk in his last trip. lifted down the line and left and this will not be caught it's a foul ball and he lays off the fastball away so it's two and two now full count now three and two for the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there now are two away. Already 24 Danny. pitches to this point in the inning. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Three and two now. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And there's a base hit on the line. He'll come home with it. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. The center fielder, number 28, Leori Garcia. Into the box, Leori Garcia to one and two now. Again, he sends it out of play. Oh. 
slice down the left side but foul. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So Elvis Andres the next to bat, and he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Line drive to center field. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Up next to the Rangers, the third baseman, Matt. Stepping in now, Matt Duffy. And he lays off again, ball three. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. Not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Ball taken there, two and one now. From the belt, the pitch. Scorched to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Jay Spry is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Standing in now, Joey Gallo. And he fouls this one off. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Fry is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time left, and the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now an eight-to-one game. Into the box now, Danny Santana, and the pitch misses low and away for ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. Sent on the ground out to second. There's one on the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. So base is empty now after the double play. And digging in is the outfielder, Shinsu Chu. Ball knocked down at home plate, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Bounce towards the mound. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. Nick Goody comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. So here's Juan Moncada. He's gone deep twice in the game, making him two for four. Three-two pitch. This is drilled, but right into the shift. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads-up play. Stepping in, Tim Anderson. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Fouled off. And here's the 3 2 from him. 
And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Now that striding into the box, oh, Eloy Jimenez. He mm -hmm. launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And he misses two and one. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Mm, Might have gone after ball four there as this one's fouled away off to the right. The next three two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Jimmy Cordero, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. Left side, but well fouled. Just hung in there on that one. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Striding in once again, Robinson Chirinos. Now the three and two pitch. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now Last down. shot for the Rangers the in this baseman. one. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. 1-1. Oh, oh, now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. He's right there. On to first, and that will seal matters here this afternoon. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around and took that great start to another notch in the win column. Eight to two is how this one ends today. The Chicago White Sox came out swinging with a huge first inning that really set them up well. Ronaldo Lopez earns win number seven on the season as he goes six plus innings and allows only a pair of base hits. Jordan Lyles struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious White Sox, eight runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Rangers, two runs on five hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon at Globe Life Park. 48,114. The Rangers thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.